My name is Bree the Plant Lady. Today I want to show you how to take a simple hanging basket and make it look extra special. I'm using bejeweled copper plant hangers from Copper Plant Hangers at Yahoo.com. I found these when I was giving a talk in Michigan in January and I was so impressed with how beautiful they were, I couldn't resist buying a bunch for myself. done is go to Home Depot and buy two hanging baskets for my front porch. Now they came with the standard fairly ugly and very short plastic hanger. There's two reasons that you should look at changing this out. First of all, if you don't add an extender, the basket will be at a really awkward height and it makes it very difficult to water. So by adding an extender, you get it so that the basket is at arm's length so that you'll be able to water without challenges. The next reason, of course, to take this off is to replace it with one of these beautiful bejeweled copper hangers. So it's really simple to do this process. The easiest way to take your plastic hanger off is just to push down and then pull the, the clip apart. And these wire containers or wire hangers have three prongs. So I had to make sure to buy hanging baskets with, with three prongs. The hanging baskets that I have that I make myself every year have four. And so these beautiful creations don't work on a basket that has four. Now, this process is super easy. You're just going to slip that bead up, open the copper, and then you're just going to put the copper into the hole that you took the plastic out of, and then you're just going to put the bead right back down over it so that it stays tight. Another thing I sometimes see, people forget to take the, the plant tag off, and you know, this isn't pretty at all. I do like geraniums. I don't have the expectation that these geraniums are going to last all summer. Um, usually with hanging baskets, I recommend that every two months you replant them just so that the things don't get too root bound and it doesn't become impossible to water. And generally by summertime, I recommend planting things that are more drought tolerant, things like herbs. Um, thyme and rosemary, oregano, things like that are really good candidates for hanging baskets. I've also used mint because I like eating, I like drinking mojitos and mint will dangle over the edges of the pots and look really cool and then you're assured that it's not going to root into the ground and run all over the place. So, you know, here in Central North Carolina, I give my hanging baskets about two months and then I refresh them. So through the warm season, that means I'm refreshing them at least three times. And that way, uh, they never really feel like a chore when I go to maintain them. Okay, so now I've got this all set up. And you see, it's just sparkly and beautiful and the sun will shine through it. And I just think this is a really fun, easy addition to uh, making a really common hanging basket look extra special and unique. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you're inspired by these simple hanging baskets. It's a great way to make a statement right on your front porch. For more gardening inspiration, follow Bree the Plant Lady and check out my website, Bree Grows. Have a great day, everyone.